Hello friends and welcome to a brand new video of infotainment. Well, in this video, we are going to see a very interesting thing that is how to talk in another language or how to use Google Translate to speak another language and get translation of that language in your desired language. For example, I am talking Hindi to Google Translate and I want the English output of that language. For example, I wanted to talk with a person who doesn't know Hindi but English and I don't know English but Hindi. So how to manage that situation? It could be any other language. How to use Google Translate to get that voice? So it's very easy. Google has provided a very useful feature here. That is for your information, I'm using my desktop here and not Android, uh, not my mobile phone. So even if I'm in desktop, I can use Google Translate to get that voice speech translated in another language. So I'm opening Google Translate. I'm just uh, uh, typing in Google, Google Translate in my uh, Google Chrome browser. So once I press that, you can see this window comes up. So when this window comes up, here you can see there will be two sides. One side is enter text or it is the input side and this is the output side. So here uh, in what language you want to enter your text or speak your voice, here it will be available. For example, you can choose Hindi for uh, this video. I have chosen already chosen Hindi, but you can find your own local language in which language you want to talk or it could be other way as well. So for example, there are many languages like Sanskrit, uh, Scottish, Kannada, many, many languages there. For uh, this video purpose, I'm uh, starting off with Hindi. Let me see how it converts into English. So for that, instead of entering text, many people would be knowing just to enter text and get the translation easily here. But the feature that many people are not knowing is that you can even speak in the language and get it translated in your desired language. For example, it is now Hindi to English. Uh, let me talk something in Hindi. Uh, hello. Yes, hello. Uh, aaj kya din hai? The thing is, uh, you have to keep on pressing this. Again, I'll press. Aaj kaun sa din hai? What day is it today? Well, uh, as I'm saying, it is not an AI application. It will only translate your words into the other language. Uh, I asked like what day is today in Hindi and it said what day is it today. So for example, hmm, aap kahan se baat kar rahe hai? Where are you talking from? Very accurately it is translating my other language. The same thing we can reverse it as well. Uh, for example, I'll be talking in English. If some uh, other person, a foreigner or a person who doesn't know English, you want to talk with him in their local language or in the language which he understands, then you can do the same here as well. For example, from English, I'll go for uh, uh, not Hindi. Let me see something uh, which I too don't know. Uh, let me see Punjabi. I'll cross this and let me ask him uh, what have you taken in breakfast today? So here one thing I observed that in not so worldwide or widely used language, we are not getting the sounds. So let me check uh, for some other language. Let me see Portuguese. Yeah, you can see this symbol is coming only for Punjabi. This symbol is not there. You can see this recording symbol, uh, this sound symbol should come. If it is coming, no, in Portuguese it is not coming. In this Portuguese it is coming. Let me check. O que você comeu no café da manhã hoje? So my Portuguese subscribers or viewers might be understanding this. I actually don't know what exactly i actually don't understand this but i'm sure that uh, it has translated and spoken the right words uh, or translate the right words into english into portuguese from english so let me ask something else what a beautiful country que país lindo so again let me see for uh, i'll go for french let me see uh, french so, let me ask something. Hello, how are you? Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Another time. Nice to meet you. Je suis ravi de te rencontrer. Goodbye. 
Au revoir. So friends, how interesting and how uh, wonderful it is to uh, have this kind of a live translator handy and the same thing you can do it in mobile as well even an app is there google translator app in which you can directly do it i'll uh, show it in another video uh, but in this video i just wanted to show you how to do it in your desktop you can use it for various purposes like uh, if you are in a meeting or if you have a foreigner or a person who doesn't know your language then definitely you can speak in your language and keep the phone over here or make that person listen to the translated language in your desktop so that uh, he gets your message or gets your uh, wordings correctly translated by google so for now i have seen it fairly translates language it can definitely manage day-to-day uh, -day work situations but for a uh, very deep uh, high quality translation i don't know but uh, this kind of thing should be used where simple things can get translated and i'm pretty sure that google does a very good job in translating the simple things what is necessary in our day-to-day -day work life uh, friends uh, that's it in this video i hope uh, it was very interesting for me it was a really new thing because i didn't know that we can even speak and translate and get the sound of that translated language from this google translation app so if you like this video please hit the like button and please don't forget to subscribe to this channel to get more of such interesting technical videos to make your life easy so till then keep watching infotainment see you again see you soon thank you